Security in Afghanistan continues to worsen. Taliban insurgents are fighting the government on several fronts. Another threat is militants of the Islamic State group, who authorities fear are getting a foothold in the chaos. NHK World's Fumio Sugaya reports. Afghan forces say the local affiliate of the Islamic State group is gaining ground in the country's east. Government troops retook a town from them in July and found a trail of destruction and fear. The militants painted their insignia on all the shop fronts in downtown court, Nangarhar province. They seized the town from government in April this year. They used this building in the grounds of a mosque. This room was used as a court. An Islamic State official acting as a judge sat in that chair and sentenced innocent people to death. Soldiers say the extremists punished not only government troops, but residents who they accused of disobeying them. The soldiers say the militants accused the people of crimes they haven't committed and sentenced them to death. They ruled by terror. People's memories are still vivid. They killed local people and burned down houses. I can't describe how terrified we were. The Islamic State militants may be gone now, but life is not much easier for those who survived. Niaz Bibi is 65 years old. The Islamic State group decided her six sons were a threat, so it killed them all. They said my sons were government spies and killed them, but it was false. Now, Niaz Bibi must take care of their children. She has no idea what their future holds. My heart is bursting with grief. I want the government to help me so my grandchildren can live without fear. Government forces are now fighting Islamic State militants together with U.S. troops based in Afghanistan. They have launched a dedicated unit for the battle. But its commander is not optimistic. The Islamic State group is well equipped. They have advanced night vision devices. We'll have to fight for a long time before we can drive them from our country. As Afghanistan grapples with this new threat, the price its civilians pay continues to mount. From Yosugaya, NHK World.